don't think so. Maybe? Hex Channeler. Ooh. But it's not a thing I can pick yet. Probably because level... Okay, so... Potion Brewing. Seems useful, but we wanted her to... To be doing the the, 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 the the corruption thing. Actually, can we boost that then? All of these down here are unavailable, right? Okay. Just want to see if there's anything... That seems super good that we want to get prerequisites for. Human. Well, we can't get... She's not hacking human! Spoilers, game! Spoilers! Mm-hmm. Whoops, systemic requirements spoil narrative play payload, I know. Uh. Channel energy is not something we can do yet, okay. What is toughness? Three hit points. Initiative and bonus to concentration. That's not bad, actually. Can we select Hex here? No. Martial weapons for bow using. Ooh, that's a good idea. This gives us. And crossbow. Actually, we have a lot of good longbows lying around, so maybe we can just give weapon proficiency to longbow. Because I don't have any good crossbows spare. Is Martian? Are you sure? I mean, it's not that I don't trust you, it's just that I, I, I thought I looked and I didn't see. No, that's crossbow. And crossbow. There's no. Oh, prerequisite for. That gamut game, what is it? All martial weapons. Okay, and which ones are those? Alright. Let's do that. 
get the spells, good stuff. So, hold on, is this... Wisdom. This is the difficulty for our thing, right? It bonus spells. Okay, yeah. Why are you taking decks? Ranged attack rolls. Will you? I have disabled auto repeatedly, sir. I think her dex is good enough to make her decent with the bow. No stealth, only one trickery. Law religion. Oh, that that is maxed. Hmm? Extra tags of opportunity. No, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to take evil eye. New. Doing this thing. Okay, we will keep lore and trickery. Point blank shots or weapon focus. Those are seem decent options. Brewing would not be bad, but like I said. We're specking her to be the person removing corruption. Yeah. I don't see those others being helpful. So maybe we build up her, her ranged abilities. Need at least point blank and precise shot. Yeah, for, for hitting stuff, right? No, nothing interesting this level. Okay. Stealth isn't quite how we roll here. Feet. Now it's a no, don't take rapier. Thank you. Thanks for making that part of the default build. Okay, let's take precise shot. Abs a hacking lootly. That gets us an additional spell. Keep the stealth. Keep going on the religion. Okay, so now we have Evil Eye and Chant. So we have Fortune. Can grant a creature within 30 feet a bit of good luck for one round. 
re-roll any ability check, attack roll, saving throw, or skill check. Taking the better results. Oh, it's for one round. Okay. Oh, it's not just one action. It's one round. So if we give... Wait, hold on. The target can call upon this good luck, allowing them to reroll any ability check, attack roll, saving throw, skill check, taking a better result. Okay, so we can do this for one turn. And at 8th level, this will apply for two rounds. Meaning, when dogs attack rolls are gonna be absolutely brutal. Right? Does Chant extend that? Chant extends fortune? Wait, that sounds absolutely broken. Wait, am I reading this correctly? It is, if I apply fortune and start chanting, is Wendo just gonna be rolling twice and taking the best for everything she does? Because that sounds like all kinds of broken. You can expand to two minutes. Um, sold? If even that, just for one round, just doing that is also intense. What other things apply here? Fortune, fury, or misfortune. What is fortune and misfortune? Fury. This is plus two morale bonus on attack rolls, resistance throws. Plus two bonus on saving throws against fear for a number of rounds equal to the wisdom modifier. Okay. This bonus is increased by one to plus three. Okay. You love the bit where Dungeons and Dragons comes from from to there's at least three ways this skill combo breaks the game. <laughs> Objective luck, fortunate lion, chant are by far the best hexes. Alright. What does misfortune do? Okay, they take the worst of all the checks, which is also good on bosses and that's, you know, that's where we struggle. And again, that's also extended by chance. Holy moly. Okay. Um, buff us, debuff opponent. Buff us. Let me just double check again. Fortune and misfortune, yes. Fury and evil eye. Okay, so I think these are, are all the ones we're gonna have. Okay, and then the mythic ranks. Okay. Summon creatures. We don't have any summoning and that's not part of our build. We're not using the hideous laughter spell. Cleaving shot. That's kind of good. Enduring spells. I think we said that was good. shot. Every time you miss an enemy with ranged attack, weapon attack, your aim improves, giving you a stacking plus one bonus on attacks against the same enemy up to the maximum of your mythic rank. 
Every successful hit lessens this bonus by one. Wow, that's actually big. Because... Miss, 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 until we get likely to hit, and then miss, and then it's gonna balance around... ...their... ...up to the mythic... ...rank. So that's just gonna get better. I do like ranging shots. Absolutely. Leaving weapon is also good. Uh -uh. Third rank spells. I think we want this though. Yeah. Did I not select it? There we go. This does buff the bow damage from like plus zero to plus four, which is not nothing. But plus two to attack rolls actually sounds better. Because hitting the target seems to be where we are struggling right now. What is the option here? Improved Abundant Casting. That's also good. Maybe that's too much though. I don't think we're gonna cast that many spells. Also, this is plus two to damage rolls. More spells, buffs, abundant. Are you sure? Enduring. Oh, right, that's a thing. I wonder though. There weren't that many spells that were affected. But also with abundant casting. Yeah, I think her value is... We've got to remember where her value is. Her value is in buffing and debuffing. And the damage with the bow is secondary. Okay. Does she need gear? Probably. Okay, well, okay, she, it says she's half-elf, so she's not human. Okay. I didn't see the pointy little ears. My bad. My bad. Have to pick your spells. Good call, good call. I... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Tango! With the raiding party. Welcome in, raiders. Chat, if you haven't checked out Tango Hotel yet, I am... Surprised and I kind of envy you because you get to explore explore experience His streams for the first time. They're very enjoyable. I do very much recommend you stop by And give him a follow How do I do the shout out thing again? I think my mods are sleeping Boom
Did I did that do it? I think that did it. I'm I'm not sure. Well, if it didn't, then I'm a bad streamer. It's not rust bucket. It's supposed to be a new. Oh wait, hold on. It's it's a it's a new Twitch command. You do slash shadow tango hotel. It's not my first time. It's not my first time. Uh, Raiders, it's your first time. There we go. There we go. Nail it. First try. Professional streamer. Okay, so restoration. Heck yeah, because the amount of negative levels we're getting is ridiculous. You detoxify any sort of venom in the creature or obby to touch. Need to make d20 plus caster level checking at the DC of each poison affecting the target. Um, we're going to be using treat affection instead and rely on our massively high lore religion check. Also, how was your raid, Tango? You still playing... Wait, were you playing... Um, Terra Invicta? Or XCOM? Or Vermintide? Find power. And we're looking for buff type spells that would be very useful here. This gives us temporary hit points from 3 to 21. Or 10 to 20 something. Which is like half a hit from something. So that's not going to make a difference to anything. She's not really a healer. She's a buffer debuffer. We have our healer in, in this guy. So protection from energy communal, I think is a... Actually, now let's get a restoration because we get those negative levels like it's going out of style. Holy moly, that's some spells. Delay poison communal. So this is buffed to 24 hours now. We only need one use. Well, let's take two. The... Have some resist energies uses. Dispel magic seems like a good thing we should be able to do. Enemy dead is cool. Yes, but also you you forget the part where I have a proclamation to um, use fireball and just kill the skeletons I just summoned. And it's also not, you know, playing into how we're into our build. There we go. So, Eagle Splendor buffs, yes. Wisdom, yes. Strength, yes. We have. Communal delay poison already, right? Yes, so we don't need this this version Actually, let's keep Well, we have three uses. We have the owl, we had eagle endurance Let's get constitution as well This is a morale bonus that's getting not gonna stack with some other buffs we already have, so let's not do that. 
Bark skin is a nice AC buff. Oh, that buffs the existing bonus, so it stacks. Oh, that's interesting. Do we have anybody who actually relies on strength? Uh, we're getting dex bonus here. Yes, Sila relies on strength, but she's also not a damage dealer. We rely on dex here. I think we're lying mostly on decks. Okay, let's take a couple of bark skins then. Let's let's give them a go. Okay. This is a bonus to strength, which I'm not, you know. Super excited about. Remove fear. We have I don't believe we have been feared once yet. Yeah, we don't have any pets. Bane, anything where we would want to use it is going to have a saving, will save that's just too big, so that's kind of pointless. Bless is the name of the game, though. Want many uses of that. Yeah, that saving throw is never going to succeed. Neither is that protection from alignment it's just on one target we're going to just bless all the heckin way okay let's have just a cop 